All right, Colin, so Midnight Robin, this is Colin Van Wicklin, 12-time NCAA champion. I'm sorry, All-American, you know what I mean? Training for 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. Uh, so there's been a lot of discussion, a lot of excitement about this new skill you're working. Yeah. Let's talk about that a little bit more, man. What is this skill? So high bar is one of our weakest events as a country, and so I really wanted to exploit that and it's one of my strongest events. So okay. my thought was, you know, how can you jam pack difficulty into this routine, but still get a super high execution score that's gonna maybe win you a medal. Okay. And one of the skills as I was searching on YouTube was I found German Giants. Ooh, okay, you know, nice. It's worth a ton of points. Yep. Um, not very many people do it, so it's got that cool unique factor and there's not much they can really deduct yeah. for. So, you know, we're working super hard on it. And we're going to debut it at qualifiers, see what the judges think. And then, you know, we think it's a game changer uh, to kind of take the high bar crown at U.S. championships. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so we talked a little bit off camera about the story and how you started working it. This is term, term of German giant. So I hear you actually started, got the idea from Germany. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so it's from my professional team, uh, KTV Obrilan. Okay. Um, and one guy from Belarus, he does German giants. And I asked him how hard it was, and he's like, it's not too hard. You yeah. just got to keep working, take baby steps. And so, you know, he scored so high, and it didn't look like he did too much in his routine. So I was like, I got to do this. Yeah, yeah. And I got back in the gym, and each day I just kind of started making little baby steps. And then, you know, Tom Meadows, he was kind of like, hey, I think you can really do this. Nice. And, you know, this is something that can put you on a world championship team. And so, you know, we've been hitting it super hard every day, and uh, I'm really excited about it. Wow, so, you know, when I think of German Giant, you guys are going to see us a little bit here in Gymnasticsville. I think of pain. I'm sorry, yeah. but I think of those shoulders getting that weird position. I mean, how does that feel in your shoulders and your body? When I first started doing it, I had to do it like once or twice a week because my shoulders were sore, they got tight. But then I slowly, you know, started getting more flexible, started getting better technique. And honestly, my shoulders have never felt more flexible, loose. I feel strong. And so honestly, I think it's been a blessing that's helped me improve my flexibility while learning a new skill. So I'm, I, like I said, I'm super excited and I'm really pumped to show everybody. Yo, you got to check it out, Jim Asheville. We definitely going to show you. But I want to talk a little bit about, you know, Winter Cup. We had talked a little bit about, you know, you injured your ankle. How's yep. that going? And just talk a little bit about what happened at Winter Cup, you know, the days leading up to it and the injury. Yeah, so it was Friday, um, the, the week before we left for Winter Cup, and I took a pretty bad crash on floor, a low landing. Yeah. It's just a freak accident, and I was in, you know, I was on crutches in a boot for the days leading up to Winter Cup. So we get out there, and, you know, Tom and I decide that we're going to try and push through and go, and I warm up a handspring double front half on ball, almost stick the landing, nice. and we hear a pop. And... You know, that's just not, my ankle's cracking. Uh, you know, that's that's something that happened. So we were a little worried, but we decided to push through. We were in such good shape. And, um, you know, I did a great vault. I did a great P-bar routine, got through high bar. And, and by the time I got through floor, you know, I was barely able to walk. It was hard to get any punch, explosiveness. And, you know, it just didn't work out. Gotcha. And so the doctors and Tom and myself decided our best option was to try and petition on the national team. and. That didn't get accepted, so you know we're kind of back to square one. You okay. know, looking yeah. to be that underdog that's going to get back on the national team. And um, I think the coolest part about this is I can get back to basics. I can yep. I can get that hunger back in me and and work towards the national team. You know, all those people don't believe in me. You know, I wear this bracelet that says "Prove them wrong." You know, on my wrist every day. And you know, I look down and I see it. You know, there's a lot of people that say I'm a specialist or I'm just good on floor and vault. But you know, I'm an all-rounder. And you know I'm really ready to to prove it to everybody, and you know I I cannot wait for PNG or for nice, U.S. championships. Nice. I can't wait for August. You know I'm almost counting down the days. Okay. So it's gonna be exciting, proving a lot of people wrong, and um, and you know I think I'm gonna surprise a lot of people there. All right, we want to know: Are you healthy? How how how's the ankles doing? The ankles are good. I'm about 75, 80 percent. Okay. I'm starting to do some basic tumbling. I'm doing landings. Um, we're slowly working towards vault. Floor and vault has always been my bread and butter. Okay. It's been easy, yep. high flying, high scoring. So this injury's actually been, it's nice because I can take some time, work on pommel horse, get stronger on rings, learn some new skills in high bar. And so, 
when my ankles get 100%, I'll be back on floor and vault in no time. So this is actually a blessing in disguise and something that I'm gonna use to my advantage. All right, Con Van Winkling, doing it up. Gymnasticsville, USA Championships, training hard. Senior National Team, Tokyo Olympic, hopeful 2020. Check him out.